Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's short tutorial, uh, what I want to do is cover how to add additional data sources in Tableau Desktop. Um, so when you first get into Tableau Desktop, there's that initial kind of blue connection pane where you choose what kind of data source you want to connect to, Excel file, whatever it may be. Um, and so let's say you have another data source that you also want to connect to in your workbook. So if you ever want to add a secondary data source, you can just hit the data drop down in the toolbar and pick new data source. And then you get this whole menu again that you can pick from, or you can use my shortcut because I'm lazy. And if you, if it's a local file, you can always just drag and drop that local file into your workbook and Tableau will add that data source as a connection. So in this case, I'm trying to put together a dashboard, which shows me my top selling products, um, across two different data sources, two different businesses. So this second worksheet with that new data will be top selling coffee chain, uh, if I can spell correctly, products. All right, so going to coffee chain and I'll have my product and I'll have my sales. And then a cool thing is depending on how you wanna handle this, um, you can even choose to link up filters across multiple data sources if they're based on fields with either the same name or with the same values. So in this case, both of these data sources have a state field. So if I want to have a single state filter, let me do this first. Let me go ahead and pull my coffee chain products into here. Just for a little bit of visual distinction, I'll make it a different color. And let's say I wanna have one state filter so I could pick a state like California and it would update both of these worksheets. Uh, what I can do is I'm gonna go back to the first worksheet go to the state filter, apply to worksheets, all using related data sources. And if I go over here, hey, well, this data source also has a state field and it also has a California value. So now as I change the filter, it's kind of hard to see, I guess, because it's sort of blocking the worksheets, but uh, it is, you can take my word for it, it is changing those values. Um, and I guess I'll throw one more thing in there. If the, the field names aren't the same, if one of these was called state and one of these was called territory, there is a way through the data drop down in the toolbar. And I believe it would be edit blend relationships um, where you could tell Tableau, hey, I need to add a custom relationship um, between state and territory or whatever they might be called. So uh, cool, hope these tips helped you and I look forward to catching you on another tutorial here soon.